What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back. Someone had a, a question about putting the spacer on your catalytic converter uh, for a cat efficiency code. Well, if you have no idea what's going on inside that catalytic converter, you actually need to know. Sometimes the catalyst is still good. It's just overheating from a dirty injector. It could be misfire. It could be anything causing the cat efficiency code. But by you, the people out there who don't want to pay or are trying to figure it out yourself without taking the catalytic converter down and looking inside of it. And that's just one way of determining if it's good or not. It could be so far decayed or contaminated causing a cat efficiency code because the catalyst cannot absorb the emissions going through it and turn it into uh, a cool exhaust, uh, uh, exhaust gas temperature in the back. So the catalyst changes that temperature so it comes in really really hot and then today's catalysts cool that down with an oxygen uh producing elements inside and then the rear o2 sensor says hey uh cat efficiency or not cat efficiency but the point is if you do it as soon as the catalytic converter code well let's go back up if you maintain your car you should never have to replace your catalytic converter maintain it 100 percent you should never have to replace your catalytic converter now with today's engines burning oil and no one maintaining them, your catalytic converter doesn't stand a chance. But for someone just to go and screw on some adapters, not knowing is it clogged? Because if it's clogged, it's gonna cause more problems. You can blow a head gasket, blow intake gaskets, melt your intake manifold down, melt your EGR, cause a fire. Many, many, many things can happen from a clog clogged catalytic converter or partially plugged catalytic converter. And on top of that, if it's a multiple catalyst system, the front one blows apart, it can clog into the back one. That catalyst is going somewhere. In those systems, it's blowing apart and vibrating and going out the tailpipe sometimes. In other cases, it's blowing up, blowing apart and clogging up in bends uh, in the exhaust system or resonators or mufflers. So people are like, oh yeah, it's been great. You don't have no idea if it's been great. The only thing you know is you don't see a check engine light. So this guy probably watched the video, put it on there years ago, and guess what happened? The light came back on because the catalytic converter decayed over time again. It's coming apart. But once it starts to come apart, there's no saving it. So and fixing it right could cost thousands. Could.